All right, so the problem we had was, as everybody else, a blocked RV toilet. So you have to shut the water off outside so you don't have water running while you got the toilet open. And uh, I just cleaned the thing out Saturday, and it seemed fine. Go to bathroom on Monday, and it sounded like it was full again. So, had to start investigating. Tried using a shop vac to pressurize, or I'm sorry, to suck. Had to get the little rubber ring and a little two inch adapter inside for the large hose instead of the small hose um, for that. Got the garden hose in here for water. Normally I, I have an adapter that just works off the uh, shower head. I unscrew the shower head, put that on there, and then hook a four foot piece of gray PVC with an elbow on the bottom and a spray head and I use that to clean you know clean out the uh, under there but I haven't done that in a couple of months and apparently that's probably what the problem was um, people take hair out of there throw it in here and there was enough hair to clump up and uh, block up the three inch exit tube by the valve so putting water in here and and spraying and I'll uh, pause to run outside and show you what I got outside. I got a uh, piece of PEX pipe. You can get any color, but the white was the cheapest. It was like $2.58 at Home Depot for 10 feet. I cut 3 feet off because 10 would have been too long to maneuver. On this end, a quick disconnect for the hose. Two brass fittings because two of those were cheaper than one. To get from the female garden hose to a barb not a pex and I had a boil water heat the end of the pex up so I can stuff the barb in there and it's on there so tight you don't even need a stainless steel clamp on there to hold it um, you only got about 50 pounds or 60 pounds of pressure in the water anyway and then on this end I did have a plug um, now it's just the uh, pipe. I took the, pl the plug out and the plug I actually drilled three little holes in the end of it to give me a spray pattern coming out of there because I thought maybe I could just break up whatever was blocking the exit and uh, that didn't work. Uh, then I took the plug out and I actually I didn't I had a stainless steel clamp on there holding the plug in because it was a peck so it just slid in and out and I put the stainless steel clamp in there and when I shoved that in the tank and I'm, I'm going in and out with it I uh, when I pulled it out I noticed clumps of hair and that's why I'm saying the hair is what the problem was so well, winds blowing my sponges around there so we come around and the buckets are to catch drips if I had any drips that's where I have to take the pipe apart so that I can access that and uh, you know it's one of those cam locks you have to turn it a little bit to um, to undo it so I take that off clean it all out so I know this pipe is clean all the way to the to the ground there and uh, I take that off and I put this on when it's on it's on like that and you take the little cap off and I put another adapter female hose to the quick disconnect now this one goes straight through and I think all of this type goes straight through because it's the same one that I use on here um, but where the stopcock is is in the end of the hose so this hose is pressurized right now but there's no water coming out so uh, when I put that when I plug this quick disconnect in then it comes out so when this cap is on with the uh, little adapter and it's up there I push the hose onto it and just for a second or two about all it takes to put a little bit of pressure in that one foot of pipe underneath there then I open up that valve and you can hear a loud pop and all that is is a a big old bubble of air that was pressurized from the water and that was enough to push the block 
Okay, so I had to make some room on the thing and meanwhile I went and I got the uh, the little plug I talked about. There's the three holes I drilled and that just fits inside that end of that PEX pipe and it slides in and out. That's why I had to use a uh, stainless steel clamp to hold it on. So anyway, well, as I was saying, oh, we got a little dark now because it's been a while. But anyway, when I pressurized the hose on that cap, just a second or so, and then pulled the lever out, had a little pop inside, and the pop was just a big air bubble. And what that did that was that pushed the block out of the way, and uh, then I put it all back together, pulled the handle again, and that let out, I'm figuring maybe five gallons to six gallons. It was just a couple of seconds. So I took the whole thing apart, put the, the adapter back on, pressurized it again, did it again, and uh, that the second time I got maybe 10 to 15 gallons out. So that leaves half the tank still. So I put it all back together, pressurized it a third time, and uh, I let it run a little while. So I put, I probably put 10 gallons of water back into it at this point. And then when I put it all back together, open up the valve again, then the entire thing came out. It, it ran until it's empty. So that's how I found to be the only uh, uh, thing that worked in this manner. I've tried the inside stuff. I've tried the, the PEX hose. It was really a good idea. There was only one YouTube channel that had that. And uh, I'm sorry I don't have that right now, but I'll try and post a link to it. And we're good to go now. Back to uh, normal flushing. So have a good day. Hope that helps somebody in the future. Helps me. And now I'm going to rinse out the tank with some good hot water. Lots of it. Probably a good 15 or 20 gallons. And um, I'm also going to get a half a gallon bottle of the uh, not the Ridex, the other one. I don't remember what it's called. But I'll post that too at some point. Whenever I put this up, I'll have all that information in there. So have a good day, guys.